What's going on guys? SC Bushcraft Backwoods here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Etowa Valley Knives River Rat. If you'd like to know a little bit more about this EDC sized Kephart style blade, don't go anywhere. Let's check it out. While we stumble into the specs on the Etoa Valley Knives River Rat, I kind of want to discuss a couple of the reasons why I really like the River Rat. For starters, the size. Now, as you see here in the specs, the overall length, look at that seven, seven and a quarter inch, that's the perfect EDC size. And that's just my opinion. Of course, you guys may have something different. And then the blade length of uh, right around three inches to me that's perfect because you're really not going to use on a daily basis anything more than just the tip of your knife that just that tip whether it's cutting open packaging or you know the plastic wrap around crates that come into work you're really not going to use a whole lot of blade length so for me that's part of the reason why I really like the Etoa Valley Knives River Rat. It's just the size, the overall size, the blade length. To me, it's just a fantastic overall package in that sense. And, you know, usually even when I'm in the woods or anything like that or in the yard, that's all I need. Just that simple seven inch, three inch blade. That's, that's really all I need to get what I need done. And that's one of the reasons right there as to why I like the River Rat. Now the next one is, I guess it kind of reminds me of a Kephart style knife. Now granted, it's not really much of a Kephart other than the spear point. The handle, it doesn't have that just simple broomstick handle. It has a, lot, a little bit of a con contour to it. You can see a little bit of a, uh, I guess you say a belly in the handle. And it, it winds up here at the pommel. I guess when you look at it, as you saw in the specs there, and a little bit of the close up, kind of does resemble a Kephart style knife, but... It's not, you know, 100% all the way there. And that's, that's kind of what makes this knife special. And that contour, it feels good and feels great in your hand, actually. So I think a four inch handle is perfect for you to get the, the fist grip, put your thumb up on and kind of come back on. It feels really good. It feels really comfortable. It works really well. So there you go. That's your overall size is one of the reasons why I really like the River Rat and then kind of the overall shape of it. Reminds me of a Kephart style blade. The handle's got some contour to it. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump into some of that usage. You know, you won't hear me do a whole lot of talking because my neighbor's over there using his saw and that thing's really loud, which is perfectly fine because no one likes to hear me talk for a whole 10 minutes anyway. That's what we have music for. Kind of makes it sound a little bit better, more enjoyable to watch. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I have this uh, abused piece of cherry wood here. It's kind of rotten on the back side, really hard on the front side. We're going to baton this down, and if you look, it's not really <laughs> too much bigger than the blade, and that's what I prefer. So we're going to go ahead and baton this thing down.
All right, so let's go ahead and pop out some feathers. I got a few sticks here. We'll probably go through the course of maybe one or two. And uh, we'll get a few started. I'll put you guys on pause and uh, I'll come back. I kind of broke my stick, so I had to start a new one, so. So you're not going to believe this. I uh, kind of broke that one, too. I mean, they're small pieces of wood, so what would you expect? So, with that being said, I'm going to grab a stick of a different type of wood and use that one. All right, let's see how much I can get off of this piece right here before I decide to break it like I did these two. This is a much, much softer type of wood versus the, uh, I guess, ch cherry, Japanese cherry. That's where it came from, a Japanese cherry tree. This is a much softer, I don't know what it is, but it's much, much softer. So we got a decent amount from this one and the other two. And here in just a second, I'm going to pop this, break it. Now we got a decent pile of feathers. It doesn't matter how your feather stick looks, it just matters if you have enough to get you a fire going. <laughs> All right, to help me get this fire going, I have my lovely and beautiful assistant, baby girl. So we're gonna rain down some sparks. Here you go, hold the haya. There you go. Yes, we call it haya. Ready? Yeah. Mm. All right, don't touch the fire, okay? Yeah. Keep your hands down, keep your hands down. All right. There we go, thank you. Hey, thank you. You gonna watch the fire now? Yeah. Watch it burn? All right. So let's go ahead and see the river rat perform some of our basic EDC tasks.
as you can see behind me, I got the reel going, which means it's time to wrap this up. One of the very first things I want to say is if you ever get the chance to work with John, Etoa Valley Knives, he's a really great guy. He's easy to talk to and easy to get along with. And it kind of reflects in his work. His work is just extraordinary. This river rat, it's absolutely... I drop it on the floor. Please hold. Alright, I'm back. I dropped it on the floor by accident. His river rat here, it's just... It's absolutely excellent. Now, I have another one of his knives. This is a small little inch and a half inch blade knife use that one for work and then I'm getting another one and uh, possibly there might be another one so you will see a great deal of uh, Itoa Valley knives here on the channel and with good reason because they're great knives and I feel everybody should have at least one of his knives and that is my honest and truthful opinion with that being said Take it easy, and thank you for visiting me out here in the backwoods. Shouldn't be too much longer before the grill's ready. Seriously, get yourself a river rat if you don't already have one. These things are fantastic. I mean, they're just, they're just great.